Funding for this program is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the financial support from viewers like you. Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Um, yeah, Bob. W what do I do? Hmm, okay. Uh, uh, well, how about this? You play the guitar. Bob, I don't have any hands. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Uh, you play this. Well, I don't want to play that. I look silly. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Nope, not going to do it. It's for the kids. Oh, okay. But they better not laugh. Okay, well, it's time now. You better go on out there. If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile If you like to waltz with potatoes Up and down the produce aisle Have we got a show for you really neat how God protected Daniel from those lions. And you did a very good job. Why, thank you. It was my finest hour. We're over here by QWERTY the computer to talk about what we've learned so today. What we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. As I was saying, we're... You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take <clears> the <throat> Well, Junior Asparagus learned that God is bigger than anything in the whole world. And because God loves us so much, he's always looking out for us. So we don't have to be afraid. Yep. And in the Bible, Daniel learned that God was taking care of him. Even down there with those big, scary lions. That's right. Now let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us today. Okay. One pound of ground beef, three slices of... QWERTY, this is a recipe for meatloaf. That's not a verse. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. And God said in Isaiah 41.10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Hmm. So the next time you get scared, just remember that verse. And tonight, before you go to sleep, why don't you pray with your mom or dad and thank God for always looking out for you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye! Bye! <laughs> And now it's time to play a game. I brought in some questions, so Larry, and I can't answer them. And so will you. I love playing games. That's right. I love playing games as well. I bet we will take turns. So let's get started. What do you do with a spoon? You throw a spoon into the air. No, you do not throw a spoon. Well, do not do that, of course. You put a spoon inside the mail. Of course not. You put a spoon in fire. No way. That's very silly. I'd better try again. Use a spoon to eat something delicious. Yes. You always use a spoon to eat something. Definitely. You eat with a spoon. What sound does a train make? 
When we hear a train, this is the sound it makes. Ah. Uh, no, that's not the sound from a train. Definitely not. When we hear a train, this is the sound it makes. That's not even the right sound. That's a camera. I'll try again. When we hear a train, this is the sound it makes. That's a guard's whistle. We hear this sound coming from the train. That's not a sound coming from a train. This is the sound from a train. You got it, Larry. That is the sound from a train. The sound that comes from a train is a whistle blow. Absolutely. A train goes chugga 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 woo woo. What does a plane do? A plane takes off and flies into the sky. You got it. A plane can take off and zoom across the blue sky. Definitely. A plane flies. What do you do with a ball? You paint a face on a ball. Of course not. A ball is not something you paint on. You can't do that, perhaps. You can use a ball to heat it on the stove and fry it. That is not how you can do something with a ball. No. Otherwise, it would be burned. I'll try again. You can spread your arms when you catch a ball. That's something you can do with a ball. You always spread your arms when you catch a ball. You can use the ball to bounce on the ground. That's right. You always use the ball to bounce it on the ground and catch it with your hands. Yes, you definitely can use the ball to do all of those. You bounce a ball. <laughs> What does a baby do? What a baby does is that baby can drink potion. A baby cannot drink potion because she can grow very, very big. She definitely cannot do that. We can hear a baby break something. That is not something a baby can do. A baby can get hurt. It can cause a lot of pain. Baby can go food and cause it to be a mess. Nope, that is not something a baby can do. What a baby does is that she can have a smile on her face, and we can also hear her talk. That's excellent. A baby can always use a smile on her face, and we always can hear her talk. Absolutely. That is what a baby can always do. A baby smiles. What does a cow say? This is what a cow can say. Ah. No. How about this? <coughs> that is a horse. I'd better try again. <coughs> nope, that is a mouse. Okay, I'd better try again. <coughs> Of course not. That's a bird. That's a duck. I'd better try again. That is definitely true. The cow always makes its own sound. Definitely. A cow says, Moo. What does a dog say? The dog makes its own sound. <laughs> that is a parrot. <laughs> That's not what a dog sounds like. I'd better try again. That's not the sound a dog makes. 
that as a rooster. Let's try again. That's not what a dog sounds like. Definitely not. That's a caribou. I'll try again. Yes, that is always the sound a dog makes. The sound a dog makes is that it barks. That definitely sounds like a dog. A dog says, Arf! Arf! What do you do with a cup? You use a cup to put rotten in, messy food inside. Nope, that is not something you use with a cup. You put spaghetti inside a cup. No, you cannot fill it inside a cup. You can also use it to put meatballs to go with it. Of course not. There's something you can use to put it in a bowl. You use to pour cold water on your head. That is so silly. It would be very cold if you pour water on your head. I better try again. A cup is something you can drink with. That's right. A cup is always something you can drink with. You can also use it to pour water inside. You definitely can use a cup to do that. I drink from a cup. What do you do with a banana? You use a banana to make chocolate. No, that is not how you use a banana. Use a banana to stick on the paper. You cannot use a banana to do that. You can use a banana to put it on any electric flat freight car. The banana cannot be put on that one. The banana is something you can use to peel it first. And you eat it. That's right, you can always use a banana to eat after you peel it. Jimmy and Jerry love it. I hope they will be very hungry. But most of all, it's good enough for monkeys. First, I peel the banana. And then I eat it. What do you do with a car? Use the car to put it inside a time machine. No, you cannot use a car to do that. A car is something you can swim with. That is not something you can use a car. A car is something you can push. Nope, pushing a car is not something you can do. A car is something you can drive. That's right, you can always drive a car to any different place you want. Definitely. You drive a car. <laughs> What does a pig say? This is what a pig says. <laughs> that is not the sound what a pig makes. That is an otter. That is a squirrel. I better try again. That's right. That is definitely the sound a pig makes. Definitely. A pig says oink oink. <laughs> Where is your nose? Right here. Here's my nose. Where are your ears? Right, right here. here. Here are my ears. What does a cat say? The cat makes the sound. <laughs> This is not what a cat says. This is not a sound from a cat either. That's not even the right sound.
That is not the sound a cat makes. I better try again. You were right. A cat always can make its own sound. I just love hearing the sound from a cat. That sure sounds exactly like a cat. A cat says, meow. What sound does a fire truck make? When we hear fire truck, this is the sound it makes. That is not the sound from a fire truck. A fire truck does not make that sound either. I must try again. Fire truck is very noisy, but that's right. A fire truck says, Rear! What does a baby do with a bottle? The baby uses a bottle to hide him from her mama. It's very silly. The mama cannot know where it's hidden. The baby can definitely throw a bottle at her papa's leg. Nope, that's not what a baby can do with a bottle. The baby cannot use that with a bottle. I will tell you the correct thing. The baby uses a bottle to drink something. Definitely. A baby drinks from a bottle. What do you do with a teddy bear? You use a teddy bear for a project. A teddy bear is not something you can do for that. You use a teddy bear to dance with. That's not something you can use with a teddy bear. You can put a teddy bear on top of the fireplace. You cannot do that teddy bear. A teddy bear is something you can snuggle with. And you can also give it a great big hug. You hug a teddy bear. Where are your eyes? Right, right here. Here are my eyes. Where is your mouth? Right, right here. here. Here's my mouth. What do you do with a book? You can use a book to step on. That is not something you can use with a book. Can you use a book to heat it up in microwave? That's not a way to use a book. A book is something you can read. That's right. You read a book. On what do you wear your shoes? You can wear them on your hands. No, you cannot wear shoes on your hands. You can wear them on your head. That is so silly. Shoes are something you wear on your feet. Shoes are definitely something you can wear on your feet. Definitely. You wear your shoes on your feet. What do the wheels of a bus go? I know this one. The wheels on the bus are attached to bus. And you go round and round. Yes, and it's about something we all know. The, the wheels, wheels on the bus. bus. And the, the wheels, wheels go, go round, round and round. round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All through the town. Yay! What's nice about flowers? The flowers are burning to death. 
flowers don't burn to death. Flowers seem to be flying in the air. No, flowers do not have wings. Flowers smell fresh and they seem to be blooming. That's right. Flowers smell great and they bloom so well. That's because we always love flowers so much. Flowers smell lovely. Funding for this program is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the financial support from viewers like you.